this video is going to talk about data graphics in Visio. Now, now let's look at data graphics. Data graphics is similar to conditional formatting in MS Excel. Just like in Excel, only one data graphic can be applied to any shape at a time. Data graphics enhance the diagram and especially when diagram is being refreshed on real-time basis. It gives an impression of a dashboard being updated on a daily or hourly basis. Data graphics essentially is a technique to give visual appeal to the diagram. So let's look at an example to better understand data graphics. Let's say we have this particular organization chart and this was introduced in tutorial one as well and we had made this organization chart using an excel file which basically contains CEO, managers and vice presidents of the company, their salary, their reporting relationship, employee number and the name. So go to the data tab under display data there's something called data graphics. Click on that and then click on create new data graphic. Another window will appear. Click on new item. In that, another window will appear. There's something called data field. This is essentially the column name. So I'm going to click on this drop down and I'm going to select title, which is essentially my designation because I want all the CEO, all the managers, and all the vice presidents to appear in three different colors and now under displayed as I'm going to select color by value once I do that color assignment screen appears I can go ahead and change the color of the objects so let's say I want to change this to green I want to change this to a lighter blue for managers and for vice presidents I want to change it to a lighter purple this is a, essentially based on alphabetical order and I'm going to click OK now and I'm going to click OK you see that the data graphic has not affected the diagram that's because the organization chart was not selected prior to creating the data graphics so I'm simply going to select the entire chart and then I'm going to go ahead and click on the data graphic which was just created which was this one. Now I'm going to go back to that data graphic and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click edit. Once I do that I can add more criteria to this. So again I'm going to click on edit item and that let's say I want to also display salary of the employees so I'm going to select salary from the drop down and I want to display icon set and I want to be able to select these icons and I want to divide the employees in two ranges employees who earn more than 50,000 and employees who earn less than 50,000 if they earn greater than or equal to 50,000 then this green arrow would appear so from the drop down I'm simply going to select greater than or equal to 50,000 and then I'm going to type in 50,000 in this box. I'm not going to use this icon so I'm simply going to click on the drop down and click on not used. If an employee earns less than 50,000 then the down arrow would appear and I'm going to click on less than and type in 50,000 here. For others I'm simply going to select not used because we're not using that and where would you like to display this horizontally I want them to appear on the left hand side and vertically I want it to appear at the top and I'm simply going to click OK now notice that my first data graphic has disappeared that's because I had clicked on edit item if you would like to add further data graphics then you need to be able to click new items so we're just going to go ahead and recreate the data graphic based on titles so I'm simply going to select color by value and I'm simply going to change the color as we had decided upon click okay 
Now both data graphics have appeared. Now click Apply and click OK. Now we can clearly identify who is earning more than 50,000, who's earning less than 50,000, who are the managers in the company, who are the vice presidents, and who's the CEO. So this is how data graphics enhance a diagram. This video was brought to you by CXO Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXO Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxomath.com. Thank you.